Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. A disc rotates about the fixed axis, its angular velocity. Omega varies with time according to the equation omega is equal to a t plus b. Here a and b constant. Initially at t equal to 0, its angular velocity is 1 radian per second and the angular position is uh, 2 radian. At the instant t equal to 2 seconds, angular velocity is 5 radian per second. Determine angular position theta and angular acceleration alpha when t equal to 4 second. Let's see what the question says. Here we have given omega equal to a t plus b. Here omega is angular velocity. A and b is constant and t is time. Initially at t equal to 0, angular velocity is given 1 radian per second. And uh, at uh, t equal to 2 second, angular velocity is become 5 radian per second. Here, initial angular position is given 2 radian and we have to calculate angular position and angular acceleration alpha when t equal to 4 second. So, this question is also based on mathematically differential and integration based. Okay. So, starting from omega, given equation omega equal to a t plus b, initially t equal to 0, initially t equal to 0, angular velocity is given 1 radian. So, here A at the T 0 and B. So, 1 equal to B, we get the value of B. Second condition we have given at T equal to 2 second, omega is given 5 radian per second, 5, this is 2 and B we have already find out. So, 5 transposing this 1, left side become minus 1, 2A then 2a is equal to 4, then a equal to 2. So, here we get the value of constant a equal to 2 and b equal to 1. Okay. Now, substitute this value in equation first. Let us say this equation is first. Omega 2t plus 1. Okay. So, here omega is angular velocity and we know that angular acceleration alpha is equal to d omega upon dt. It means we have to differentiate with respect of t, then we get the alpha. So, here differentiate with respect of t both the side d omega upon dt, differentiation 2t that is 2 and constant 1 is 0, d omega upon dt that is alpha, 2 radian per second square. So, here it is independent of t. So, therefore, the same value for the 4 second alpha equal to 2 radian per second square. Okay. Now, for the calculation of uh, angular position, again omega 2t plus 1. As we know that angular velocity is d theta by dt. So, substitute this value d theta by dt is equal to 2t plus 1. d theta is equal to 2t plus 1 into dt. It means we have to uh, find out position, angular position by integrate both the side. Here, lower limit that is 2 radian at any instant position means theta. Here, initial time 0 given that and final 4 second. So, upper limit that is 4. d theta integrate it become theta, theta upper limit and lower limit that is 2. Integration 2 t square by 2. Okay, because integration of variable that is uh, of n x n plus 1 upon n plus 1. Okay, where n is not equal to minus 1. So, here we are using this formula and 1 that is t 
zero to four. Okay. Now upper limit that is theta minus two. Two to cancel out. Four square plus four. Then theta minus two. Four square that is sixteen plus four. Twenty. This minus two is transposing. Become plus two. Theta equal to twenty two radian. So here we get the answer alpha equal to two radian per second square and theta. Is equal to twenty-two radian. That is correct answer. I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel. That can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye bye.